with the structural interventions, there are a lot more operators who are lining up to do it. And even, even just what we've seen now with the COAP data, it's just going to open an avalanche of, of patients who feel that they should have this done, of physicians who understand that their patients are going to benefit from it. And to meet this demand, clearly we need to create technologies that make it easier, safer, more predictable. We are at the point where we have mechanical delivery systems and um, it's done in an incremental fashion where we think about something and, and then it isn't always directly applicable as to what we're thinking and then what happens. Moray is going to take that to a whole new level because we're going to think something and it is going to happen because it's beyond mechanical. It's all the integration of the, the computer aspects of it. Well, the need for it is very, very high and the need is great. Structural heart interventions for the valve therapies has not reached the masses. Moray technology has the potential to streamline delivery and to create reproducible and reliable methods of delivering our valve therapies. And, and what it'll do is it'll allow operators with any skill level, any level of experience to deliver those specific therapies. I have no doubt in my mind that this technology will easily lead us into the era of precision, precision therapy for valvular heart disease. The level of precision and the level of correlation between anatomy, imaging, and hand control, yeah. I, I say, look, I mean, uh, humans were not really that equipped to be able to have that degree of coordination. Right. I really think this is the right time right. for uh, uh, robotics. Yeah. And, and, you know, to be a structuralist, you've got to be an imaging specialist. Exactly. You know, you've got to see 3D, you got to do CT, you got to do angio, exactly. you got to be good with your hands. So, you know, I think robotic can bring a lot of that together and maybe, maybe bring everything to the medium.